Bonjour et bienvenue, je suis l'homme bleu. Hi, I'm Adele. And this is uh, day two of our trip in Paris. We're going There's to Notre Dame. Yeah, we're going to go to Notre Dame, Lac de Triomphe, Cour d'Eiffel. Right now we're at the River Seine, we're on the north side. So uh, first stop is going to be Notre Dame. And you can see the Eiffel Tower just over there. So we'll have some facts about the Eiffel Tower and Arc de Triomphe today. Uh, not so much about Notre Dame, but um, yeah, it doesn't matter. We're going to go see it. So let's go that way. Yeah, you can buy spots real old ones here. Oh yeah. Super old ones. Just walking next to the River Sun right now. I've been here before. And Adele's been here before. Notre Dame is this way. That little spire over there. I love Paris. And there it is. We're gonna try to get a better view, so we're gonna cross the street now. Versailles, to Versailles. And there it is. Voila. Notre Dame de Paris. This is a street. We should move. Yeah. You can take pictures here. Alright, so they just rung the bells of Notre Dame. Uh, couldn't get the camera out fast enough, so we missed it. Bummer. But uh, we're gonna see if we can go get inside. And yeah. If they ring the game, we'll record it. Uh, we're gonna try going in here first. Okay, so the uh, crypts cost money, money that we don't have. But there they are, there to go in. Ah, uh, we got it. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to go inside the cathedral now. Okay, so we got to find the end of the line. It's, I think it's here. Yeah, we're here. So this is the line. All the way. All the way over there. I don't know how good that shot was, but it's uh... uh now we're getting closer to Notre Dame. Still got a long way to go in line, but people are leaving because they don't want to wait. So that's good. So now that I think about it, I do have some facts about uh, Notre Dame. For example, during the French Revolution, the, the heads of all of the kings were cut off, including the uh, three kings that visited Jesus, uh, which are represented as statues here. But later they reattached the heads, um, starting with the three kings because they weren't French kings and they were just mad at the French aristocracy. So statues appear to have all their heads now, but at one point they were missing. And also at one point this was the tallest structure in France. Uh, we gotta be silent, no flash photography. Um, people are just pumping up next to me. I think they're trying to pickpocket me. Attention, pickpockets. Right there. So, uh, watch your bag, babe. And... We are inside Notre Dame. Yeah, so... Some people had to be kicked out of line because they had their luggage in, with them and stuff. Uh, apparently they don't like hats, either. Oh, also something interesting in Paris. Um, if you're in some place like the Louvre or Notre Dame, if you're talk, if you're giving a personal tour to more than two people, like if it was just more than me and Adele here, then that's illegal for some reason. But yeah, as long as it's just us, maybe one more person, we're fine. Can't really see it on film, but beautiful stained glass, gorgeous. Huh. Oh, um, yeah, it, it's just showing up on the camera as white windows, but those are stained glass, they're red, green, blue, all kinds of Stuff. Okay, gonna go take some pictures. Nothing. 
You look beautiful today. She says she does. She agrees. Um, now you can finally see some of the stained glass windows. Beautiful ribbed vault ceiling. Don't remember what year Notre Dame was constructed, but I think it was started in like the year 800. I don't know. I'll have to double check that. Basically right now I have every song from uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, the play and the Disney movie. Uh, stuck in my head. So, uh, I may or may not sing some of that. We'll see. Uh, rose pattern glass, uh, stained glass windows. Adele is sitting down over there. We're gonna go find her again. Um, where did she go? Oh, there she is. Yeah, retired still. Had a long day. Adele's a little sick. But she's looking beautiful and being healthy. Now we're just making our way through the rest of Notre Dame. Um, there's supposed to be a treasure room here someplace. Uh, we'll see if we can get in there. If not... Yeah. And, uh, oh, there it is. Um, you can't see the sign in the video, but that white spot on the screen is the treasure. Place of Notre Dame. Treasury. Something in Chinese. Something in Russian. And it costs money, so no. No, no, no. No. Yeah, it costs money. There's the treasury. Yeah. Oh, there's the treasury. I like how they do the Chinese the other way around. Oh, yeah, they like, do. From right to left. <laughs> yeah. They did it the wrong way. They did it. They did the Chinese words on that sign the wrong way. Okay. Go this way. It's not, it is really big. Um, Notre Dame is still an active church. You can go to service here. Um, yeah. So that's the area we were sitting in before is for the church service. And I don't know what this is. Oh, this is to pray in silence and this is a dead guy. Who is it? Uh, uh, I don't know who that is. Yeah, uh, you can pray over here. Altars, uh, statues of Mary, the uh, Yeah. The reconstructions of Notre Dame. And there's a little model. Okay, we're probably gonna try to get out now. So, um, the subway looks a lot better lit on video, um, but it's really actually pretty dark in here. So there's nothing separating the people standing on the side from the subway. If someone was alone at night, this would also be very creepy, and the hallways, which we just went down, are long, dark, and someplace where someone could get mugged, potentially. Yay! Uh, so we're here now at the Côte d'Eiffel, the Australian Embassy, and a Museum of Japanese Culture in Paris. And also over here we kind of have the um, downtown 
area of Paris. So, um, yeah. Let's go to the tower. Watch your step. Yeah, so we took the RER, which is different than the Metro, to get here. Um, it's the same thing, but nicer and cleaner. That's like a bus. It looks like a bus. Or a train. Or really a nice quiet. train, very quiet. Very nice. Adele almost fell asleep. And there's dirt and puddles. So, um, while we're making our way to the Tour Battelle, just a few quick facts. Uh, construction was started in 1887, if I remember, uh, for the 1889 World Fair in Paris. Afterwards, they were going to tear it down, but decided to keep it, even though a lot of people thought it was an eyesore originally. Uh, now it's the most iconic images in the world. Um, you can see the elevator. Funny story, kind of, in uh, the 40s when Germany invaded Paris, Hitler wanted to visit the Eiffel Tower, but they cut the ropes to the elevator, so he had to walk. So, sucks to be him. Also, the Eiffel Tower is currently the tallest uh, man-made structure in Paris, the second tallest in France. The tallest in France is a uh, aqueduct in southern France. So, yeah. And it was the tallest structure in the world for, I think, 41 years until 1930 um, when they built the Chrysler Building in New York City. So the Eiffel Tower beat uh, Washington Monument for the tallest structure in the world when it was completed. And there are some Eiffel Tower facts. Oh yeah, no merry ground, yeah. Carousels go the other direction. Um, we're gonna try crossing. We're gonna go over to the little park on the other side. Uh, maybe have lunch or something, we're starving. And um, yeah, get some more photos and video of the F Tower. And watch all these birds. I don't know if you caught any of that. I don't know what they are either, but they look weird. And I like the way they hop. Get Nutella. So, um, yeah, we're here at this little cafe by the carousel by the Eiffel Tower to get crips. We're gonna come back later in the day, find out what time the uh, they light up the Eiffel Tower. But um, yeah, we'll be back in the evening and hopefully get some images of it lit up at night. All right, so that's our trip to the Eiffel Tower. Like I said, we're coming back a little bit later. Uh, now we're making our way to the Metro again, so we can go to the Arc of Triumph. There's the Send Financial District, and there's the tower. So if anyone's seen Rush Hour 3, that's the fountain that they land in at the end when they uh, kind of sail off the Eiffel Tower. And we're leaving, trying to find the Ark of Triumph. So, um... Yeah, if you guys don't know who the chief executive of Hong Kong, or the chief executive administrator is, it's uh, basically the president of Hong Kong. So, we ran into the president of Hong Kong in Paris. Next to, our, yeah. yeah, next to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> While we're waiting to cross. While we're waiting to cross the street. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower looks much 
more, I guess, I don't know, impressive from a distance? I don't know that's the word. Like, it's impressive up close too, but from a distance it looks much more grand. Yeah, so there's a bunch of guys with, um, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, Little Eiffel Tower figures walking around. And it's apparently illegal to sell them because the police just grabbed a bunch and smashed them on the ground. So I'm trying not to get arrested by showing that. But here's the Eiffel Tower again. And maybe I'll show it when they walk back by. I don't know where but yeah, just behind that trash can there's a bunch of smashed little uh, Eiffel Tower figures. And uh, I don't know where the police went. Oh, oh there they are, there's the police. So uh, let's put this away before we get arrested. <laughs> Off in the distance there you can see some more of the uh, skyscrapers on the outskirts of Paris. Uh, I just think that's interesting because people never really talk about that or look at it, but they're there nonetheless. So um, there's a protest over here. Union de Petrea Syrian Enfant. It's uh, for the Syrian Civil War. Okay. Apparently they hit America. <laughs> In Israel. <laughs> huh. Well then. So the subway's not so bad when there's people inside, but uh, oh look, there's a camera. Hey, accordion. But uh, when there's no people in here, this one actually has lights. All the others we've been to haven't had lights yet. I guess it's because this one's by the Eiffel Tower, so they want to spruce it up and make it not look um, like they're going to get mugged. Yeah, so Arc de Triomphe at um, I think it's Place Charles de Gaulle Etoile. I remember. Ah, we'll see. Yeah. So this is the only nice subway we've seen. It looks just like the Hong Kong subway. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess the French government doesn't care enough to update uh, the other subways. Oh, uh, yeah. This is also the only uh, subway in Paris, apparently, that has an escalator. There might be more, but we haven't seen any. And we've been taking the subway for two days. And there's Lac de Triomphe. Says, yeah, they started uh, construction in 1806. It's supposed to be for the heroes of the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars. It has 660 names on it. 550 something of those names are generals during the time period. Um, yeah, don't know what else can be said about it. Uh, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is just underneath it from World War One. the French uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And um, Napoleon marched through here on his 100-day return in 1815. And yeah, when he entered Paris. And that is a giant French flag. All right, so that basically concludes day three. Uh, like I said, we might go back to the Eiffel Tower this evening when it's all lit up. Oh, day two, do yeah. that again. Day two. Day two, yes, I'm an idiot. This is day two. That is a nice car. And we're staying here for six days. It's, I don't know if you guys can There it is, that's a nice car. All right, yeah, so we're staying here for uh, six days. This is day two. Uh, whoa. Yeah. Uh, and this is the Champs Elysees. And unless we return to the Eiffel Tower this evening, uh, bon journée. Bye.
So it's <laughs> night time now. I think it's like 10 or 10 30 or something. Almost 11. Almost 11. Okay. Um, so we're headed back to the Eiffel Tower. We'll be within sight in a second. We're going to see it with its lights up. And we're probably going to go to a restaurant, have some dinner. We're starving. And let's see. Ah, there it is. See that? Yeah. Yeah, that probably won't work. You'll have to tilt your heads. But there it is. And there's the park. Uh, looks a little creepy right now, so we're just gonna walk this way more first. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna go uh, walk across the other side to the Champ de Mars. And there's Adele. And uh, yeah, see if we can sit on the green for a minute before we go find a pub. There's people throwing glowing things, and yeah. See how big it is? Yeah, it's really a lot bigger than you'd think it would be. I mean, people say that, but it's like, ah, uh, you just gotta be here. The elevator coming down is like a roller coaster. Oh, yeah, and the elevators go up the legs. Right there. Uh, there's one, yeah. It's kind of like an elevator uh, roller coaster. That song's been stuck in my head all day. <laughs> all right, and there's restaurants at the base there, in the foundation of the legs. Uh, probably too expensive for us to eat at, so I'm gonna walk um, to the other side of the Champ de Mar, a, uh, see if there's any pubs or anything open. <laughs> Okay, so now we're coming up to the Champ de Mar, and the trees are cut like squares. They're selling champagne or wine or something. I don't know how much. Wine, yeah. So it's uh, like a dollar or something, I don't know. But, meh. Oh yeah, the Eiffel Tower on the other side. So we're now on the uh, Champ de Mar. We hear music over there and there's people on the other side here, but we're not really sure how they got there since it's fenced off. Yeah, we have no idea. But um, yeah, here's the other side of the Eiffel Tower. Here's Adele. I don't know how to get in. I don't know how to get in either. We probably, I don't know. Yeah, we can just walk around. Yeah, all the restaurants and stuff are on that side, past the uh, square trees. So, yeah. And unless there's anything else interesting to see, I guess, um, bon journée. Bye. Yeah, so that just happened as I filmed that last one. Like, I literally just turned it off and it started. That's, uh, it's easy, guys. It's crazy.